Hello YouTube, this is part 2 on how to relocate user profiles to another partition or disk in Windows 8. Personally, when installing Windows 8, I always use audit mode to relocate users and program data leaving system drive only for Windows and applications. The system that I have set up right now uses two SSD drives that are 32 gigs each, so I only have about 60 gigs for my operating system. Doesn't um, user user profiles take up a lot of space, and it's difficult to cram all that information onto a small disk. So let's go ahead and install Windows 8. Okay, I'm going to click next. Enter your enter in your serial number. After you enter in your serial number, you get this screen. To custom install. Right now I have Windows 7 installed, so I'm going to delete everything, do a quick format. Okay. Install it on this. This is my two 32 gig SSD drives that are in RAID. Next. Okay, it's going to go ahead and install. Okay, once that's over, it's going to restart the computer. And you'll see this screen as before. Okay, after reboost, this comes up. Reboot this comes up. Okay, when you get to this screen, you're going to want to go to audit mode. To do this, press Control Shift F3 all at the same time. When you do, the computer is going to reboot, so don't panic. This is normal. Okay, after it reboots, you're going to get to this screen. You're going to want to move your cursor to the bottom left. When you see that screen pop up, click your left mouse button. And you'll see this window. You're going to want to cancel out this window. Then you're going to want to move your mouse cursor to the bottom left. See the window pop up again. Click on it. Then you're at the screen again. Bottom left. Right click. Then you're going to want to run. And then type in command or CMD. Bring up the command prompt. Click OK. From here you're going to type in the following command. You're going to type in CD space Windows 
System32 sysprep. Okay, this is the next command you're going to type. sysprep.exe space audit space reboot space unattend. Then the drive letter where your thumb drive or wherever your relocate.xml file is located. Mine is E. Mine actually changed uh, from what it was on Windows 7 when I installed Windows 8, so the drive letter is jumbled for me. So you might want to check your Windows Explorer. We're just going to be down here, all in the bottom left. You're going to click on the folder icon, click on that, and then click on the computer. And then here you can see all the drive letters. This is C, my 232 gig hard drive where Windows is going, and then my external hard drive. And here's uh, where my user profile and program data are going to on drive G. And then here's my thumb drive and here's my DVD disk for Windows 8. All of these, most of these drives did change the letters so I recommend going here first before you move on. Go to your relocate.xml file and make the necessary changes in here. Here you might need to change where user profile and program data are going to and the source of your Windows 8 installation disk. Okay, uh, and I explain more about what this file does in the first video, so you might need to ch check that out. Okay, so I'm going to close this now. I'm ready to run the, the script. Close this. Go back to the command prompt and then hit enter. Okay, this window comes up. It's rebooting now. Okay, the screen comes up after a reboot. We're now ready to exit auto mode. To continue Windows installation, we have to exit auto mode and reboot. Okay, so this window comes up again. Just like before, you're going to want to go to the bottom left. Click on this. And then here, we're going to press OK. Make sure that this is set to OOBE and that this option is set to reboot. When we press OK, we're going to exit audit mode and we're going to continue the Windows 8 installation. So again, we're going to reboot. You'll see the screen pop up after a reboot twice. You're going to see this screen again. You probably already entered in the product key, just like I did. Go ahead and enter that in. And then you're going to see the license terms. Go ahead and accept, check mark, accept. Now we're ready to personalize Windows 8. You go ahead and enter in my PC name. Hit next. Okay. And type in my email address.
cards. And now I'm going to type in my phone number. Next. Okay, I'm in. Let's verify that my user profile had moved to the other drive. Okay. Let's see. Properties. Yep. It's under G, users, and my profile. So it's working. And that there is how you move your user profile and program data to another drive or a partition. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please include that in, in the comments below. Thank you.